Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Polar Bridge. Today I'm going to play 7 Turn Flip 2. And do I have an SL? Yeah, I have. And for some reason I'm wanting to use uh, Wust to move the camera, but that's not very good. So this is a similar level, or it's similar in what you should do or can do to another level and I don't remember what that level is called but there you have a limit of three pistons and on this level you have a limit of two pistons for each side or four pistons, pistons in total because you could do something that uses more pistons in a different fashion so, I want these two to move into the middle. And how do I do that? I don't know. I could flip them over like this, or do something else. I think if I go to load, here yeah, they are a flip, and that's probably also a flip. So, let's try something that's not a flip. So have those in the middle. Just delete these and build up, something like that, good, and copy it, paste it over here, good, now, how can we move it, we could, we, first of all we need to know how far we want to move it, we want to move it further than this, you could think whether you want to move it this far, because this part, want to be moved here, but that's wrong. You want this part, if you're doing it like I'm going to, you want it to be moved a lot further. You want it to be moved... Why am I using pistons? To somewhere... like that. So that's the middle. See? The middle is there. So if I have it connected to something here, I can move it back and forth, basically. So I want to try that. And they should probably move it here and maybe up a bit more, like that. It makes it more expensive, but we have a budget. But I think that's better, and then have another one, maybe over here. So that's straight over, and that's also straight over. Good. That's correct, that's correct. And we need this to not fall down. We could maybe just use cables like that. Let's see what happens. Something went wrong there. And I'm not sure what. So let's flip all the numbers here first. And then I will slow it down when we car that one. Okay, it worked this time, so it was something that was wrong. Good. So delete that one. Copy this one here. Probably get those ones back and see what happens. Go, go, go! Okay. We can get them here. What I'm wanting to try, because I've seen solutions like it, is that they go and connect themselves, but I don't know if. Oh, I've. Found, I found the shortcut keys for the speed. So, hit notes paused slowly. How up, far up will we go? That looks like it's high enough, actually. But this one stopped before it should have. To so speed it up. That was after. So I'll play around with this off camera for a bit.
Okay. I just got a breakthrough here. So if we have it on high speed and then slow it down, and then have it low speed here, to see what happens. That happens. It snaps in and then it gets released. So I think the timing is right. So here I need to disable, just in case, just every single one of these. Every single one. And same on this face here. And on the next one. And I will probably have a, or I will have a time lapse of what I did. But let's see if it works. Or how weird it stops working. Oop. That, then it goes. And then hopefully it will go back. It did not go back. Damn it! So, I got it to work here. Almost. Let's try something. I will just add some extra weight to it and see how it changes the behavior of it. Well, I don't really know how this type of thing works. Well, I haven't done it before. Or I haven't done it successfully before. Or as successful as I have done it here. Okay, so it did not get caught this time. So this one moved further up than this one. So the more weight I have here, the less it moves up. So that means I should probably reduce the weight, and I have, I only changed this one so I have one here as a control, and the other one just as, like, shh. Yeah, control and the other one as a test. So this one is lighter now than the left one. And both moved up the same. Both did not, they did not connect. Okay. We can do something like that and like this here. Let's just copy this one here. Like that. And then have something here. Let's do, like, so it's really big. And the reason I want it to be big is... How should I explain it? I don't know. That's weird. Both... Both the flips make it look the same. Yeah, you see, it looks different when I flip it, but when I flip this, okay, this one, it looks the same. That's weird. Or at least I think it looks the same. And that, of course, might be wrong, because it might not be the same. So right now, I'm not doing this as a budget thing. I know you can do this with a lo lot lower budget, but now I'm going to do it with a control, con control weight. Here, on the other side. I have an idea on how to do it. Like that. Looks a lot better. Is a lot nicer. Perfectly symmetrical. Like, over the line. This adds some extra weight. Here. And that should change the swing. Okay. It did not swing at all. So I'm thinking that one of these did not snap correctly. 
but let's see how it works now. Still nothing. Huh. That's weird. Let's delete these two and see if it falls down now. It's not. That's a two, that's a two. So those had nothing to do with it. It's still not falling down. Okay. Why are you not falling down? Have I saved it on the hydraulic controller? No, I have not. Okay. Let's play to those two. And see if that helps. Now we can see that this can spin and that can spin. Or that can move. There's a cable here. That's a problem. That cable. And I found the problem. And solved it, hopefully. Almost. So it changed the timing, but did it make it move up higher or lower? I think that's higher, actually. And that's actually some progress. So I wonder if we change here. And I'm using grid on right now. Connect those two. Then add just some extra connections here. Just to add weight. And I should have it in the middle. But just some extra connections. So these are just here to add weight. We can't add weight with road. But this will also add weight. Something like that. Then you just copy it, flip it over to the other side. And we have a lot more weight here. We will be over budget. Okay, it we might be it might be flipping over the other way now. Yeah. That works too. I wonder if I can get that to work. That would be cool. Yeah, get get that to work. I think I will try to do get that instead because that's a lot cooler than this thing. So I will have a cut here as well and move this around and get that one to stick the landing. And it might actually stick the landing already. And I just needed to have these switched and they all should be ones I think or twos so it can connect to the ones here I, th I think that's how I should do it woohoo huh so it, it drops them and goes over and there. So it did not stick together. But I, I will test it off camera. So be back soon. So, here I have one that seems to be working fine. So, let me show it to you. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's has a lot of stress here. 
drop some nudes down and then misses that one. And here we go. Whoop. Caught that one perfectly. And I could change the delay on that one. It looks like you don't need to have pistons finishing in the exact moment where... where when you need to connect. So I don't know what, why that changed how it connected last time, because I needed to have it on a specific length and a specific percentage for it to work last time. And I don't know why that changed anything. So that one connected, this one didn't. The reason this one didn't is actually here. Here we have a reason. So one of these dropped off some no nodes and the other one is not. And I think the left one, yeah, the left one is dropping off nodes. Yeah, it drops down one node. So I, th and I think that I need to remove a node, node from that one. I think a split joint has its full weight, but I'm not 100% not sure. Seems like that changed it a lot. But it looks, looks like it actually works still, so... Let's see if it can go back. Whoop! So cool! So cool! I like this solution a lot. And I will try to get it under budget. But I will save it here anyway, and have it as four. Because sometimes I can actually, sh I can could show a budget solution that's over budget, but just have it at the end or something. So that seems to still work, so that's good. And drop the budget just by a little, little tiny bit. Pretty darn awesome. That looks great. Let's see, can I change these two? cable because if one of these is would be contracting the other one would be or contract if one of these are would be compressing the other one would be, be under tension so it could work if they were strong enough but clearly they're not okay can we have, can we have one like one here I would think not, but let's give it a try. Yeah, that did not work. So we'll just try and reduce the budget. And hopefully not change the weight a lot. That works. Good. So that was a small budget cut. But small budget cuts can make big differences if you do them a lot. Cutting one dollar a hundred times is the same as cutting hundred dollars once. Okay, good. Still working. Great, let's just remove some of these pieces that we probably don't need. I don't... I just want to... I just wanted to delete that one. Good! I managed to do it. The delete tool, or the selection tool, is not as precise as I want it to be. But at least you can select things like that. I need to drop it seven grand. Can I change these two to cables? That dropped it a bit. It's connecting right, so that's good. Woohoo! Awesome. I'm really happy with this solution. Really, really happy. Delete that one. 
Now I'm almost out of the budget. Let's see if it still works. It's not working. That side is not working. Do we need to remove something more or just add weight? I think remove weight is the right choice because that side has it dropping off. But I might be mistaken. Both are connecting, but we're not connecting perfectly. So there's a bit of difference between them. But it's close enough, it looks like. Awesome. And what happens if we delete that one? And we could change the shape here to make it cheaper. It looks like eyes. That's cool. This is one of my favorite bridges, actually. That I've done on this level. It's the only one I've seen that swings the bridge over like this as well. I've seen bridges that have done it the other way around in getting it underneath. But none that has done it over. And now I'm under budget. But I want to have it symmetrical. So I'll have it like this. And I don't know how long this video will be. But it might be a bit shorter than right normal. But I made this awesome looking bridge. That's really cool. Yeah. Definitely one of my favorite brid bridges. That's a gif. I should I should do a good gif of this. So is this a good place maybe? Like that. There's some kind of carousel that moves more or less this way, but I don't know what it's called. Whoop! And actually connects up there again. I hadn't seen that before. But this is awesome. So upload that one to Reddit and Twitter. Yeah. Uploading. This is amazing. I'm really happy about with this bridge. Really happy. Okay. So if you like this video, like it if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.